up to this uh, DriveScript tutorial where today I'm going to introduce you to the text edit control which allows a user to enter text and we can then manipulate it, grab it and so forth. So let's go ahead and show you what I mean. Right, at the moment we have a simple basic uh, application that runs and says hello. So what we're going to do is just add a text box, text input box below, then we can just type type it in. And easiest way to actually add something to your application is to just go straight to the online documentation and copy paste. So let's just show you how to do that. I go to the reference within docs. I've gone to all, which is probably one of the easiest ways and then you can just type in what you want and for this control it's a text edit so this shows you what the arguments are for the method but we want a little bit more so we want to go to the examples so what do we have now let's go to this one on a change so we can see and this one creates one called edit me so let's type this one or copy paste this one and actually instead of using create we're going to use add and I recommend you doing that all the time now because it's um, it's the way it's all going but it's also easier to control and it takes up less uh, lines of code and we just add it basically to that layout and um, we're saying here edit me we've got a width there you are so you can see width of 0.8 of the screen and a height of 0.3 probably don't need it that high but let's run it anyway and see what happens I show you here and as you can see here's the text edit box which is rather large so actually we're going to just get rid of that you can just actually get rid of it completely I'll put minus one should give us a default one there we are so that default size edit me on the text input box yay and that's it very simple very easy so let's add ourselves a button and again let's go back to our all and we've got add button which actually we want create button for the example default size we're going to just have this so this is a button and we want the callback as well, we want the event adding, uh, we're going to change that create to add and we're going to add it to the layout and here's your callback, say hello callback function so we need to, we go to this function here, copy this, don't need the semicolons anymore and it's just going to add a button to do that but what we want to do is actually show the contents of the text box and to do that you just call in edit and there's a method attached to that box called get text and as you see in the pop-up box there so we need to call that and we can run it and we see hello and we've got edit me we can put another button there press and there we go contents of the text box appears and that is how to add a text box to your application and get the contents of the box and there's also set text as well if you want to uh, change the value now there was something else I just want to sh quickly show you as well there's an option you can add at the end of the edit box 
called password. Now, if I just put edit text, text edits, there we go. And here's how we do it. And you can set hint as well. That's a good one to know. So we have our content here and you just type password and also single line, which prevents double going over more than one line. And we can also add a set hint, which will pop up. So what we need to do if we've got a set hint is actually remove the default value there, which is the text, so we can have that blank. Set hint. Now if we press run, we have password. And as this is blank, it's password. And once you get it, it shows you the uh, contents. So there you go. So now we've uh, shown you how to add a text edit control to your application. We've created a button with, that gets the value of the text edit uh, control. And also we've shown you how to turn that control into a password field. <laughs>